anything from complaints about service to criticisms of a spouse's employer can, and is, being prosecuted under Indonesia's shockingly harsh internet defamation law. Last year, a 26-year-old Indonesian law student, angry with her experience at a petrol station in her university town, Yogyakarta, or Yogya, wrote this on the social media site path, Yogya is poor, stupid and uncultured. Friends in Jakarta and Bandung, please don't stay in Yogya. A few years before that, in the Indonesian city of Bandung, a 47-year-old mother of three had a private chat with a friend on Facebook, confiding about her then-husband's alleged domestic violence. The student, Florence Syhaming, was found guilty on April 1 by the Yogyakarta District Court of defaming the city of Yogyakarta and given a two-month jail sentence, a $770 fine, and six months probation, even though she had apologized profusely to the Sultan and citizens of Yogyakarta. The mother, Wisni, was found guilty of defaming her ex-husband by the Bandung District Court on the same day and given five months in prison and ordered to pay a $7,700 fine. The judge overlooked the fact that her husband had hacked into her Facebook account. What's even more shocking is that there is nothing exceptional about these cases or the punishments given. Scores of Indonesian netizens are landing themselves in legal trouble because of what they say online. It belies the image of Indonesia as the world's third biggest democracy, whose citizens are not only prolific users of social media but also enjoy greater internet freedom, especially compared with their Southeast Asian neighbors.